And my question is that unborn fetus that cannot live outside the mother, what right do you have to tell me to carry it to term if it's an unplanned pregnancy? And odds are that if it goes into the foster care system, it will face severe neglect and abuse. So you believe that we should have the right to eliminate the sufferer, not the suffering. Is that what you're saying? That's not what I'm saying at all, and that's not what my question is. You just is. said that if you knew for 100% certainty that the child you're birthing is going to have a lifetime of suffering, that it would be better for the child for you to kill and the life of the child than for the child to suffer. So instead of attempting to solve the suffering of the child, you've just eliminated the potential sufferer, right? My question was how do we end that suffering to make bringing a child that is unwanted into this world justifiable? Well, so I think there's a lot of things. we solve those problems? We absolutely, I mean, as pro-lifers and as Americans, we care about the children in foster care. We care about children who are being neglected, who are living on the streets with their parents. Um, these are things that we as Americans strive to fix, right? That we give to charitable organizations, that we're involved in organizations in our community and churches in our community to solve these problems. So I actually don't believe anyone in this room, uh, regardless of whether or not you're pro-life or you're pro-choice, uh, thinks that children should be suffering uh, in foster care or children should live through uh, hunger or homelessness. Um, but what you're advocating for is you're trying to justify legal abortion by saying some people are going to suffer, therefore we're going to play God and we're going to eliminate the sufferer. I think that's absolutely wrong. One, because people come out of adver adversity. People do suffer and we will all suffer in our life. But I think it's wrong for you to say you will suffer, therefore I'm going to kill you. So bringing back to my question, how do you propose we solve those problems for the children that are suffering? So do you want to go through today all the world's problems and all the United States problems and try to stop? Because this is a common thing we hear in the pro-life movement. You're pro-life, but you don't care about people once they're born. You don't care about women after they're born. In fact, if you have to be pro-life, we have to do 30 different things. Yet, are you upset that the American Diabetes Association doesn't fight cancer? I specifically simply asked about do you, the Are you upset? System? that the American Diabetes Association doesn't fight cancer? No. Why? Because they are the Diabetes Foundation. Exactly. I am the anti-abortion. Next question. That's the next question. Because you just answered my, you just, you answered I asked for a proposed solution to our issues in foster care and child see, homelessness. Okay, we can have a debate. I can do a whole lecture about foster care. We can do a whole lecture on homelessness. These are great problems that we face in our nation, right? These are dilemmas that we face. And there's different policy prescriptions for how to solve those things. But my organization, my mission is very limited. It's to abolish abortion, to make abortion illegal and unthinkable because abortion is the greatest human rights tragedy our world faces. There's no other act of violence that kills more people every single day in America and across the world than abortion. There's nothing wrong with me fighting and spending 100% of my time doing it. Just like how there's nothing wrong with the American Diabetes Association putting 100% of their money, their research and time behind curing juvenile diabetes. No one ever chooses the Diabetes Association or the American Cancer Association of not trying to cure every life-ending disease. Because we all understand in order to be effective, in order to achieve our goal, you have to remain laser focused on your goal. It's very basic business principles, right? It's very basic. But yet, what we hear often from those who disagree with us on abortion is what's, what's the pro-life movement doing on all of these things? That we have to solve all the societal ills. We have to address all of them in order to be heard. I mean, the reality is you don't really care what I do, that I support children in third world countries, or that I might be volunteering at a soup kitchen, or many people in the pro-life movement are actually, they're the foster parents. Uh, they're leading the adoption efforts. It's, it's just an argument to try to stop the actual discussion from happening, which is abortion is a moral wrong, and sh it should be stopped.